who has subscribed I said in a few weeks ago video in a video a few weeks ago probably this, that I was going to really focus on my channel this year really be consistent and really like do projects that help other people projects that I've like researched and I needed help from other people so this is my you know take on everything um, but yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed because I reached my first 100 subscribers. I know it's not much, but it's a small victory for me. Um, but yeah, today I am following up on my last two videos where I'm trying to um, renovate my shower. It's come a long way. That's the uh, caulking I did right there from last week's video. And this week I'm actually using this grout pen to regrout the line so that it's as white as the um, caulking line. So it's like a cleaner, cohesive look. So you guys, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, look at my previous videos so you can see more of what my channel is about. But it's really home decor, home DIY projects, etc. Mommy vibes, entrepreneur vibes, all that good stuff. Um, stay tuned to the video so you can see what I say about this uh, grout pen. If it's, you know, if it's good with the, you know, just kind of like a review while also showing you the DIY project that I'm working on for today's video. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a quick look of the grout lines. You can see how it's much like tanner, browner than the caulking. This is the pen. So it's called grout pen and it gives you instructions on the back. This is just another close-up of the lines before. So this is me going in with the pen. You have to shake it up really good before you start. Um, once you, you shake it up with the top on it, and then when you take it off, you still have to shake it up a few times to make the actual color come out. And disclaimer real quick, if anybody peeped the sore on my mouth in the intro that's because I have um I don't even want to say how that happened but um a product I use to remove hair it um actually burned my skin and then it turned into a scab but that's another story you may or may not peeped it but just so that y'all don't judge me I told y'all before don't judge me I don't judge y'all that's how we do on my channel but yeah this is me going in with the pen so the pen is definitely good. You can tell the difference immediately once you're actually able to cover. So you can see some of the lines that I've done already are white, white, close to the color of the um, caulking. And then the ones that I haven't done are giving like off, not even off white. It's like giving beige or tan. Um, so this is, I'm just gonna let y'all watch for a second how I how I do this so you see nothing is coming out right here right you have to shake this thing so many times and it's actually frustrating so right here it's not as bad because I'm just starting out so you have to shake it a few times and you have to go over it a few times because the actual grout ink or grout color doesn't come out um as easily as I would have preferred it to come out so once it actually comes out it looks good you can always, um, if if you get the color, you can't really tell, but the, some of the white came out on the actual towel out versus out versus inside of the grout line. So you can always wipe that with a towel if you want to. I mean, if it bothers you, it doesn't it didn't really bother me, even though I did go and wipe to clean it up. But just notice how I keep having to, like when I when I draw the line, it's not really filling in that much. So I have to keep shaking to get this stuff to come out. Once it comes out, it's great. Once it comes out and once it's like flowing properly, it's great and it it's, it gives good coverage to cover up your lines or to make, you know, make your lines, your grout lines new. But the struggle with this pen is that you have to shake it so much. And I know this pen is not empty because I can feel I can feel the, you know, grout ink or whatever you want to call it inside of it. It's just that for some reason the tip is is created in a way where you have to keep shaking to I mean I guess it's to help prevent you know too much coming out at once but it's really hard to have this stuff come out so 
you can see the difference. So just watch for a second. You'll see that this is like kind of tan, not kind of, very tan beige. Nothing's coming out right here. I'm trying to go in a couple more times, still not coming out. So I'm shaking it a bunch. See if anything comes out. Try to press it down. Nothing really came out. Shake it again. Nothing's still coming out. So you have to shake it so much. And this is very stressful. Um, try again. And now you start to see some of it coming out. It's just that it takes a while for it to flow. And then right here, it wasn't even getting in the center in the actual grout line where it was supposed to. More of it was getting on the towel. So it's just like... You know, I feel like the pin tip should be thinner um, more to more appropriately fit an actual grout line. And then I feel like they should do something with the tip to make it come out a little more, like flow a little bit better. Because it's just too much work to like get it to come out. And then to the tip, as far as the shape of it, getting the actual ink in the place that you want it to be. But you can definitely see the difference. If you guys are paying close attention, you'll be able to see the difference between like this one to the right of where I'm doing now versus the one I'm doing now. You'll use, you can really see that it's much, much whiter, much cleaner. And I think overall, if I do the whole thing, it'll be a much cleaner look. This process is, it, it got very stressful for me. So I didn't, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I didn't, I didn't finish the whole thing yet. Keep watching though, because I'll show you guys, um, a little more of what I did and just kind of like give you guys a recap too. But I just wanted to really keep this footage. And excuse my little nubby nail, y'all. My nails usually go grow really long and healthy. But the past few months, I've been getting like gel polish, which I hate because my nails grow so fast. And then I never like take it off properly. So I'm restarting my nail growth from scratch. So y'all will see in my like future videos, my nails only take like four weeks to grow and they grow extremely long and strong. So excuse my little nubs in this video. But yeah, I, I really tried my best, y'all, to do this. I really wanted to do it all in one sitting. If you're like me, a DIYer, and you really just want to like redo your space, you kind of can get impatient sometimes. So that's me. So I wanted to finish it all in one setting. Also, because sometimes when I start a project, if I don't knock it out, I might end up procrastinating and not finishing it. But close up, it you know it works. This grout pin definitely works. It definitely covers. Um... I'm interested to see, because at first I was going to do a black so I could have this black-white contrast because I wanted to do that modern black and white bathroom. But I'm glad I didn't do black because the way it's coming out, y'all see the black lines will look hella messy. So I'm glad I didn't do that. I might still do some black as far as my decor in the bathroom. I'll, I'll have to figure it out. But I might do that in like next week's video as far as um, decorating my bathroom and really showing y'all a full view of how it looks. I just want to kind of get the basics done first but y'all this grout pen is interesting because it works but it's like stressful to get to where you want it to be so my shower isn't even that big so i can imagine if somebody has a much you know a larger square footage of a shower and has more towels it would take so much time like part of me all, almost wants to bust this pen open and just paint the grout ink on there I have a steady hand, so I, I'm just feeling like I could do that, but I don't I don't want to be too messy, so. So this is what I did, and then you'll see below the ones that I haven't done yet. It's more on the yellow side. All right, y'all, so it's a different day. I have not I have not finished the this in the shower. Got my little nose done, like I told y'all. They gonna grow. And then my skin is going bad. Like I'm I'm usually on top of my nails. I don't like getting them polished like that, but they usually grow pretty nicely, so they look like really healthy. And then my skin is breaking out, it's stressed, it's a mess. That's all another story. But let's get into this grout pen. So honest review, it's a great idea, a great concept, but it doesn't work for me. It's um too much of a hassle. I feel like this type of creation or invention is supposed to be like an easy, quick fix. Um, and it's it's too time consuming, like it's too hard to work. I feel like they need to redo this. If you guys know of any grout pen, grout, grout pen brands that maybe as outside of this, I guess this one is just called Grout Pen, Grout Restore. Then let me know in the comments below. But you know, it's a nice idea. It's great and it works, but it just takes too much time and manpower to do. So I don't even know if I'm going to actually finish my towel. Um, I'm gonna figure something else out. I might just paint it white. Um, but yeah, honest review, 
great intention, great idea, just needs work and improvements. Um, I want to show you guys how this whole bathroom looks, but I'm going to show you that next week. Um, this is just the shower. There's also a, a separate tub in here, um, and then obviously a toilet, etc. But I want to do a, a nice thorough cleaning of it. It's not really that. It's not really dirty. I don't. I barely use the actual tub part, but the shower is what I, you know, use the most, and that's probably why I was so trash. But I want to turn it into like a spa vibe, spa bathroom, because this is the bathroom that's in my room. I want it to be, like, I always like to talk, tell y'all that I like my space to be cute and feel, like, just inspiring. Like, I'm an artist. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm home a lot, working from home for COVID. So I just want my space to feel inspired. And because I do so many things, like, I own an activewear brand. I, I'm a homeowner trying to decorate my house. I'm a mom. I work in 9 to 5, all these things. So if y'all are a working girl or mom like myself, you know you want your, your space to be a safe haven. And you want to be able to relax and be in peace and without having to go to a spa or another facility to, like, get that, you know, self-care time. So I really want my bathroom shower to be that self-care. I have a lock on this door, so I want to be able to light my little candles and just kick a vibe off, like, you know, at the end of each day, once a week, whatever it may be, so I can reset. And the start of resetting is being able to have that comfortable space to do it, so... I think I'm going to show y'all that next week. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in doing, seeing how I clean it up, seeing how I style it. Obviously, I would do it before and after so y'all can see how it looks now and then after. But let me know in the comments below if that's something you'll be interested in doing. Um, I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed in this because I've seen other videos, people using it. It seems to be like a great tool to use to kind of refresh your space. But it didn't work out for me. So let me know in the comments below if you have used this and how it worked out for you. But for me, it's giving no. Thankfully, it was inexpensive. I um, actually got one before this, and I didn't realize I ordered a beige one. So I ended up ordering another one from Amazon. But it was very cheap, like I think $9 for each. So if you want to try it out just to see what I mean or just to see if it works the same way for you or better, go ahead. It's only, like I said, like $9. I'll link it in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I reached my first 100 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Let's do this entrepreneur, mommy vibe, home decor vibe together. Um, it's a little small victories for me, so I'm hoping to continue to grow my channel, be consistent while teaching you guys from my experiences and also learning from you guys too. So I will see you guys in the next video.